Hey, Chef Billy Parisi here with Heinen's, and I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely delicious squash tart. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a tart pan, and I'm going to form some pre-made pie dough right into this tart pan, and in the meantime, we're going to keep it in the freezer. Next, I've got a delicata squash, butternut squash, sweet potato, and red onion. You want to peel these, cut them in half, and remove any seeds. Now, we're only going to use half of each item. The other half you can save for a recipe at a later date. What we want to do is slice each of these ingredients on a mandolin so that they are nice, thinly sliced. And like I said, when you use a mandolin, if you start getting nervous, just stop it and go to the next ingredient. We're going to add these all to a bowl with all of our other sliced ingredients. Just set these quickly to the side. In a separate bowl, we're going to add in some shredded mozzarella cheese, followed up with some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of fresh thyme, garlic, and some Dijon mustard. We're going to mix this until it is completely combined and add it right to the bottom of our tart shell. Now, using a spoon or rubber spatula, spread it out to evenly coat the bottom. Now, to layer on the vegetables, we are going to alternate each ingredient from the outside to the center. So starting on the outside, we're going to use a little delicata squash and layer it in very nice tight layers. Next layer, we can do onion, we could do butternut, we could do sweet potato, totally up to you, but you're going from the outside in. You have many options on doing this, but the goal is so that you use all the ingredients. Now drizzle with a little bit of olive oil to help brown everything up, and then of course season it very well with a little bit of salt and fresh cracked black pepper. This is going in the oven at 350 degrees. It's going to take in between 80 and 90 minutes for this to brown up and be finished cooking. After that time, it's going to look absolutely beautiful just like this. We are going to drizzle on a little bit of melted unsalted butter, and then I'm going to add a little fresh thyme for garnish. And I'm telling you right now, this is a stunning appetizer to serve up to family and friends.